Hello, welcome back to Crack and the Cryptic and happy Easter and also um, get ready for the first of the month tomorrow because we are going to be launching at 4 p.m. our time our new dangerous to know um, Sudoku hunt. We've had some very strange emails from some very dodgy people as far as we can tell and you may have to save the world. Um, and solve some puzzles for us. So do join us on Patreon tomorrow, do your duty, check it out, um, and have a go at that Sudoku hunt. We believe it's a little easier than last month, but we'll find out from you, from you definitively. There's always other content on Patreon as well. Do check it all out. Um, there's all of our apps. They're very well worth checking out. The theme of today's puzzle is lines, and we have a brilliant line Sudoku app, which is our latest one. Um, do look into it. Uh, again, great stuff. There's Sven Sudoku Pad in the links under the video. There's also our merchandise, like this rather wonderful Cracking the Cryptic hoodie. I hope you can see that. Let me just see if you can. No, you can't, so I'm going to have to stand up. There we go, Cracking the Cryptic. Bowl writ large as it should be. Um, and and the first link under the video is to this puzzle. Now I was looking for um well actually I should mention that coming out um on within the uh main crack in the cryptic app a couple of Easter puzzles. So they'll be with you soon if you have any of the app. Um, well, if you even have the, the free app download, you'll get a couple of Easter puzzles, one of which features a sort of bunny. I was looking for another Easter puzzle and actually came across this that was sent to us last year and we didn't use it last year. It's by Mavericks JD and I'm risking things here because uh, Mavericks JD can be quite a tough constructor. So we'll see how this goes, um, but it's slightly... I was going to say a slightly lopsided bunny. It's a much better representation of a bunny than the one that we have going on on our Easter puzzle on the app. But anyway, um, let's do the rules. Let's just go. Uh, so normal Sudoku rules apply. One to nine in every row, every column, and every three by three box. Now, there are some purple Renban lines. And on a purple Renban line, you must have a consecutive set of digits in any order. So this purple line up here could have one, two, three, four, five on, or four, five, six, seven, eight, perhaps, in any order. Um, but it would have to have all of them on, obviously. Um, and then along the green line, adjacent digits differ by at least five. All the green lines are pretty short. There's only that one that is longer than two cells. Um, I hope you can see the distinction between green and purple on the screen. Um, if it's any help, green is fractionally thinner than purple in this puzzle, thanks to Mavericks JD's setup. Now, outside the grid, a clue outside the grid gives the sum of the digits in that row or column which are on the lines. So in this column, those three digits add up to 13. And finally, we have the bunny's eyes um, and the digit, a digit in, the, in a gray circle is odd. So those are two odd digits. That's what we get. Give it a try. I don't know how long it's going to take. We will find out. You can look at the video length. I can't. Um, but I'm going to restart the clock and give it a try. Let's get cracking. So, we've got a lot of lines. But those clues outside the grid are... Okay, 33 is a big number. 35 is a bigger number, but actually... Well, say it's six cells as well. 13... The one I started with isn't so good. That one is much better. Right, let's concentrate on the bottom row to begin with. Yes, there's got to be a high digit on this green line. So this is a green segment. Um, the minimum value of those, those two digits are 6 and 1 equals 7. So the maximum value of these two digits is 6. So they don't have any number bigger than 5, and I don't think they have a 5 on for this reason. It's because of this Renban. If they had a 5 on, these two, remember, add up to at least 7. I think, actually, in this row, the line cells 
if there was a five in one of those cells and one and six there, the other digit in the row would have to be a one. So that just doesn't work. So these are low digits. Actually, it might be worth... Yeah, this can't be high now. So this can't be the high digit, not even three, four, five, six, because that would on its own bust this line. It would take it to 13 with one digit to go. So this can't be high. I, I, I wasn't quite right when I asserted that, but I am now. Um, and this, well, I was right. I just didn't know why is what I'm trying to say. This is the high digit. Um, can it be any higher than seven? No, if it was eight, those would have to add up to five. Three different digits have to add up to at least six, being one, two, and three at the minimum. So that is six or seven. This digit it's next to on the green line is one or two. Uh, whether it is six or seven, there's not only a one in these cells, but a two, because they add up to either seven or six to make the 13 total. So these are either one, two, three, or one, two, four. They definitely include one and two, and therefore, surprise, surprise, one and two are definitely on this Renban line, which is a one, two, three, four Renban line, and this is a low digit as well. And that's a high one, because this is a green line. Ooh. Oh, and that can't be one or two, because the one and two on the Renban are down here. So that's three or four. This, by German whisper rules, now has to be eight or nine. And that's going to impact this line. Right, there are certain interesting restrictions on this Renban line. And I'm not even getting into the business of the 33 yet. But OK, the first thing I'm going to say is that because of these cells, which include one and two, it's not just because of that, but okay, because of these six cells not being able to have any repeat digits, these can't have, this line can't be one, two, three, four, because you'd have six, you'd have six digits to select from one, two, three, four. It can't be two, three, four, five because you'd have six digits to select from a population of five. So it's at least three, four, five, six. Now it's clearly because of that, not six, seven, eight, nine. So it's three, four, five, six, four, five, six, seven, or five, six, seven, eight. They add up to totals with a difference of four. They're either 18, 22, or 26. 26 won't work, because once you add whatever that digit is, you bust 33 for the row. So this is either 18 or 22. So it's 3, 4, 5, 6, or 4, 5, 6, 7. So the line definitely has 4, 5, and 6 on it. If it was 4, 5, 6, 7, these two would add up to... 11, that would be three or two, and that's impossible on this Renban. Yay, okay, happy Easter to me. That has to be right. If that was three or two, you can't make up this three cell Renban, which has a six or seven there, because you'd need four and five on it. Yes, okay, so this is not four, five, six, seven. This is three, four, five, six. Is that right? Have I done the maths right? I just want to check that out. I think I have. If this was four, five, six, seven, it would add up to 22 plus that would take us up to 30 or 31. That would be three or two and that can't be done on the Rembrandt. Yes, okay. Now, this is a set of one, two, three, four, five, six by by Sudoku, I suppose. And that's seven, eight, nine go in there. Now, three, four, five, six, we can do the sum now. 18 plus either eight or nine is 26 or 27, leaving seven or six here. Is that right? Well, it can't be six because this is a three, four, five, six set. That is right. This is a seven, therefore. I think that has to be right. I'm going to colour it. 
and that is sorting out other digits. This puzzle isn't so bad once you start thinking about it in the right way. That's a six. This can't be an eight because of that triple. So this is a five. That doesn't get a color. I don't even know if it's going to be right to do high and low coloring, but it just feels a bit instinctive in some ways. So forgive me if it turns out to be absolute pointless bobbins. Ah, eight there means that's a three. This is now a one, two, four set, and miraculously that adds up right. Oh, I didn't quite do that right. That adds up right with the six here to make 13 in the row. This row definitely adds up to 33. The other digits in the row are one, two, and nine. Yeah, let's do a bit of Sudoku tidy up. We've got one, two, four, and six to place in row thingy what's it oh three and eight are over here ah interesting so that's five seven nine that takes nine out of these cells they're a one two pair this is a definite nine over this side and that's not one and two that's a four six pair this is one and two over on the left and this digit is known and is four and four gets a color as does nine and in fact, I could color all of these if I'm gonna keep up the coloring. I don't know, I'm sort of stuck with it now. Now we've got one or two on a Ren band. That's the only way we've gone out of the box so far. Oh, I was gonna put one, two or three here, but this is not a whisper, this is a Ren band. So we've got one or two on a Ren band. This Ren band has to be made up out of the digits one, two, three, four. You can't get above four starting with that. And it's got to have a two and a three on the line. All the digits on the line see things like those cells, which therefore can't be two or three. I mean, that may come into play at some point. I don't know what else I should have been looking at. In this column, we're adding up to 35. Now, I could play around with working out values, especially on that Renban, which has got an eight on it and which must therefore have seven and six on it as well. But what I'm gonna start with is using the secret of how much every row, column, and box adds up to in a Sudoku. Listen carefully. It is 45 every single time. It's magic, that. Because um, the digits one to nine add up to 45. I know you know, but the other guy doesn't. Right. What I'm going to do is then ignore the line cells, which add up to 35, take 35 away from 45, and these other cells add up to 10. And this is not a 9. If that's a 7, this is a 1-2 pair. If that's a 5, we've already used 3 in the line, that would be a 1-4 pair. So there's definitely a 1 in use, and either a 2 or a 4. Now, what else was I saying? I was saying 7 and 6 have to be on this... Renban and that cell, which is on a whisper line. I haven't actually run through the, the things we know about whisper lines, and there's a, probably a good reason for that. Fives can't go on whisper lines. That's going to matter for the first time in this cell. Um, whisper lines have to alternate between a digit higher than five and a digit lower than five, and normally I start in about monogamous digits, fours and sixes, being very hard to place. But in this puzzle, all the lines are so short, the only cell affected by that is this one, which can't be four or six, um, because its neighbors would be the same as each other in the same box. Right, this is high, because the lowest number it could reach down to is a five. Five is not allowed on the whisper line, so that's high. Five could be on the Renban line, so it could well be in one of these cells. Oh, these are five cell Renban lines and we'll definitely both have a five on, the bunny ears. And never mind about that. This is six, seven or nine. And um, yes, it can't be eight because that's already on the line. Oh, these are low. Those are low. Coloring may be a good idea, it turns out. Three. That's interesting. Okay, there's going to be one low digit up here on these two cells, but only one. There might be a five, but we've already had three lows in the column. I think there's got to be a high digit here. 
No, not necessarily. We could have the four high digits there. Now, OK, I thought we were going to... Well, it doesn't really help to prove that a five-cell line bridges between high and low, maybe. I don't know. Sorry, I don't know really what I'm thinking about. I'm just try, trying to come up with some ideas. Yeah, it doesn't matter about the total of these cells. Now, the only cell, the only column with an outside clue, a projected sum clue that I haven't looked at is this one. But that is not telling me whether this is low or high. It seems to have a maximum of nine and a minimum of three. I'm not going to pencil mark that. OK, now what can we do next? What can we possibly do next? That's high on this green line. And it can't be 6 from that. So it's 7, 8 or 9. Right. Now this 5 cell line can't go below 3 because of that high digit. Oh, this is a low digit as well. I hadn't even written that in. I think I was planning to and I'd forgotten. So this line can't go below 3. This line can't go above 8. Oh, no, that is interesting. It can't have a 9 on. So where's 9 in this column? It's on this Ren band. And therefore, that can't be a 9. Furthermore, the line consists of 9, 8, 7, 6, being a 4-cell Ranban with a 9 on. They're definitely high now. They don't definitely include 7, unfortunately. If they did include 7, that would be a 5. And because that's a 5, that would be 1 and 4 to make the totals work. And that would be 2 and 6. And these other digits on the line, on the purple line up here, would have to be 3, 4, and 5, which is quite constrained, but does still work. Now, the alternative is that this is 9 and 6. Ah, oh, hang on, this is 7 or 6. This has to be 1 or 2. Now, that 2 and 6 possibility here does not work, because that would make this a 1 and make the line unsustainable. It would have both 1 and 6 on. So that cannot ignore 6. We, I think what I'm saying is that can't be 9 and 7. Yes, because of that would make that 5, that 1, 4, and that 2, 6, which makes that 1 and this purple right ear of the bunny is impossible. That's really interesting. It's quite intricate, but it's very clever. So this is not 9 and 7. This is 9 and 6. That is now a 7, which unfortunately has the freedom to allow that not to be resolved yet. Now, 6983. If that's 127, this is a 45 pair. That's very plausible. If that's 145, this is a 27 pair, which is totally implausible. You can't put 2 and 7 in those cells, or the line won't connect up. Doesn't even matter about that. So this is. 127 as a, as a set of digits that aren't in the 35 sum that add to 10. This is now a 4 5 pair. That is low. So, oh yeah, that one's high. So, this line definitely has a 3 on it in one of these cells. It could be 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, but that couldn't be 6. Because that would make this one 1, which would be a clash with those two. So this is low. That means this is high, unsurprisingly, since it's on the same line as that. This one is how low, would you say? How low can you go? Well, it's not 4, so it's 1, 2, or 3. This digit could still be a 6. I wonder if it is. I don't know. Ah, there's a high digit in one of these two cells because they're adjoining cells on a green line. That high digit is not 6, 9 or 7, so it is 8, going with 1, 2 or 3. That's a nice spot, actually. Um, 
Can it be three, eight? It can't be three in this cell, because they would be eight and nine, but we've already got a nine in one of those two. That's probably not the biggest and best conclusion that can be reached at this point. That's not a seven by Sudoku. I'm wondering, wondering if I can get by with a bit of Sudoku now. Because thinking about this line seems quite difficult. Now we've worked out it doesn't have one and two on it. And it definitely has five, six, and seven on it. Is that any use? One of these is six. We've got that six down there ruled out of those. So one of those is six. That's not a lot of use. Could be there. We were, I think I worked out this was somewhere between three and nine. Very, very uninspiring um, deduction from earlier. What about this then? If that's eight, that's low. No, that's, oh yeah, this could be seven then. Yeah, that would work. I was just about to say we can't have another high digit in this box, but it's only in those two cells. If that was low and this was eight, these would both be from one, two, three, and that would be a one, two, three, triple. And what effect would that have, dost thou think? Don't know. Ah, oh, one of those two is a three. On this three cell line, two and three must exist, and three is not there because of the seven. Okay, so one of these is a three, and therefore this eye of the bunny is not a three, because it sees them both. It's also not a seven, but it is odd. So I shall put one five nine in there and wonder if I'm going to come to a realization of which one it is at some point. It, I don't know, it seems a way away, actually. Let's think about this being six. Because then this five, six, five, four would be on the line. That would be three, that would be two, that would be one. Six, five, four, one would all be gone in the box. Oh, if that was three, this would be eight or nine. Interesting, but not conclusive. Yeah, typical Mavericks JD. We make some nice progress and then we grind to a juddering halt on Cottontail. Maybe Cottontail has a sting in the tail. Cottontail is obviously the name of one of the rabbits in Peter Rabbit, where I believe that Peter's brothers and sisters are called Flopsy, Mopsy and Cottontail. Um, right, stop whittering, Mark. I'll try and do some puzzle. Okay, if, if that's a four, that gets quite interesting. This line couldn't have a four on then. That can't be a four by whisper. That couldn't be a four because of this putative four, and we've already got a four down there ruling four out of those. So this line would then have to be five, six, seven, eight, nine. Is that useful? Not very. I mean, it would be interesting, but not very useful. Oh, goodness. Um, I don't know what to be thinking about next. Help me out here, guys. That little line? Ugh. Don't want to get involved in that yet. One of those is definitely a three in this row because of the purple line. I don't know what that means either. This, maybe this connection, or this connection. I don't know, I, how are they any use to me? I'm not really seeing it, I have to say. Right, come on Mark, rededicate. Let's, let's look for something clever and interesting. Whatever it may be. So 
Sorry, until I have some inspiration, there's, there's going to be no step forward in this puzzle. What's going on? Right, if that was a six, then we get four and six here. Ooh, four would have to go there. Interesting, but not... Not impossible to resolve at all. If that was a six, that would be a three, and that would be a two. Oh yes, we looked at that. Six there would make that a one, and that a two. No, I'm, I'm really, really a bit stuck here. Sorry. I, I've got to try and find something going on in this puzzle that, that I'm just not up to speed with yet. Seven's in one of those two. That's, is it the numbers? I've done that number. I've done this number. They're, they're finished and fixed. I've actually done this number. So there's only this 13 number outside the grid to play with. Other than that, I'm down to Renban and German Whispers as a recourse with which to solve the puzzle. That seems to be a bit of a broken reed at the moment. Okay, come on, Mark, think about it. Two and three are definitely on those cells. So they're not in those. I worked that out earlier. They're not in those. So two and three, if that was a four, That would be three and two. Three and two could be in any of these cells. I don't know. I mean, what? What's going on? Sorry, sometimes we do arrive at points in puzzles where we're just struggling for an answer, struggling for an inspiration. Um, and this is clearly one of them. I'm feeling really rather foolish. Is it obvious what, what constrictions are on this puzzle? It's obvious seven isn't in those cells. That's a five, nine pair. Um, seven here, this one. I mean, I could have put that one, three, five, nine pencil marking in a long time ago. I'm not sure what it's doing for me now or what it would have been doing for me a while ago. Two low digits are in there. Two of the one, two, three digits. Exactly two. These are non-repeatable. That seems to be the only thing I'm clinging on to here is hope for this puzzle. Ah, if that wasn't three here, that would definitely have to be three. This would be a one, two pair and that would be three. Oh, maybe let's think about if this was a four, then we'd have to have three and two. Does that do anything else? That couldn't be three. Ah, two would then have to be in one of these cells. If that was four, it couldn't be two. So the two there would have to go in one of those two. Oh, six down there is looking at that cell. I mean, I hope, without much hope, that that's going to do a lot. It makes that I not a one. That's kind of interesting, isn't it? Not very. It makes that one not a one. Uh, does it do anything else? Am I missing some other simple German whisper connection? Don't think I am. But if that was a six, that would be one and two and one, and that would have to be three. If that was a seven, this would be a one, two pair, and that would be three again. Only if it's eight or nine, can that avoid being a one-two pair with three there? So, 
What happens if it's eight or nine? I don't know. Ah, three is in one of those cells. So three can't be in either of those. And three can't be there for a quite an interesting reason. That would have to be a four or five pair and would break that cell where we pencil mark four or five. So three is not on this line now. And everything on the line is selected from four. It's either a four, five, six, seven, eight Ranban or a five, six, seven, eight, nine one. That's not four or six. I mean, again, it doesn't feel like a massive deduction, but maybe we can put it into play with this five or nine. If that was five, that would have to be the five on the line for German whisper reasons, basically, on the Renban line. That would have to be the five. Then you've already got a five here. Five in box two would be in one of those cells. Ah, and that's completely impossible because there has to be a five in one of these. Oh, I see, that's really rather neat. Look, if that's a five on this Renban line, the five which must be on it would go there. That actually makes a five here and now there's nowhere for five in box two. So that eye is not a five. And the eye of the bunny was remarkably helpful. Right, that take, well, it gives us a nine. That nine makes this a six and that a nine. It's gonna put a nine in one of those two cells. Six is not gonna do anything in the puzzle at all. What about this? Now, if there's a four on this line, it's in one of those two, which would form an X wing with four there. Uh, five almost forms an X wing, but since five could be there, yeah, then we'd end up with five here. Is that impossible? I don't know. Maybe there's a reason now this can't be six, which I've been wondering for some time. If that's a six, ah, if that's a six, this is a three, and that can't be six anymore by whisper rules. So if that's a six, that's a six. And then six is on this line, If it's not a six, it's one, two, or three. Ah, oh, I don't see it. Why? Why is this so obscure? Something in this column still. What's going on in this column? Nine. I don't know. Just don't know. If that was a four, this would be a nine by Sudoku rules. But if that's a four, this is not a four. That's fine. Those, those kind of efforts work the same way as each other. So if that's a five, if it's not a five, five's in one of those cells. If that is a five, that's a five. And that has to be five. What does that do? I don't think it does anything in this puzzle. And that's a really poor conclusion. I still don't know whether four is on this line somewhere or nine. Okay, I know that five, six, seven, and eight are on it. I've marked that six is in one of those three cells. So none of these can be six. So the six in column six is in one of those two. That doesn't bode interestingly. Have I still got to be thinking about this Ren Van? Probably. So if that's a Four, and we've got a 3-2 pair here. Then that's a 9. Then that's a 9. 
What else happens to nine? Nothing interesting is, is my initial go-to reaction for this. Oh, frustration, frustration, I'm stuck again. Oh, where are four and five in this row? They're not in this box because of that four, five pair. One of them could be there, but one of them is on this line, which is not a one, two, three line, obviously, because it's got four and five, four or five on it. So could it possibly be two, three, four? That would put two there and three, four here. Yes, it could. Could it be three, four, five? quite easily. Could it be four, five, six? Quite easily. Okay, could it be five, six, seven? I'd like to rule that out because it would give me the tiniest bit of something. If that was five, six, seven, this would be an eight, nine pair. This would have to be five, six, seven here as well. What would that do? It was five, six, seven. That would have to be a six. I mean, you could get a lot of it done. That's really weird. So if this line was five, six, seven, that would be the six because of that pair. Then this cell, because that's a six, and what did I know about it? If that if this was five, six, seven, that's an eight, nine pair. So this has to be a five, six, seven bit of Renban. And that's six now. We'll make that into a seven, because this is a five, six, seven set. So you'd have six there, seven there. Then five here and seven here. So if that's a six, that's a five, and that's a seven. Otherwise, this, what are the possibilities? Two, three, four. Oh, that's totally different. I was even, I was just trying to get one digit put on this line for definite. I couldn't even cheat that. Numpty. Right, come on. What am I about now? Six, nine, anything going on here? There really isn't. I mean, there absolutely, obviously isn't anything going on here. Six, seven, what about, can that be a five? If I could rule that out from being a five, I've got a one, two, three, triple. Maybe I should start with that. If this is a one, two, three, triple, what's going on? So if that's a three, that's a one, two pair, and that has to be a three. Then we've got threes in those positions. Then we have to have a three here in this box. This feels like it might actually be deliberately set up. Although the juice seems to have evaporated it after that. No, I don't think I'm getting anything going on there. That can't be three because one of those is three. I learned that ages ago. Didn't use it. Like a minky. Um, right, now what? I don't know. That is the answer to now what? One of those is a five. So that digit can't be a five. Not necessarily true that one of them is a four, though. I wish there was some sort of X-wing We're using the five that's in there, but because they're in different boxes, there isn't. I mean, I've kind of worked out that if that's a five, that's a five. If one of those is a five instead, one of those, in fact, that is a five. So the five in row two is, row three, is in one of those two places, which is really something I could have just done by considering where does five go in row three. Didn't need to actually think it through. Ah, oh, but interestingly, if that's a five, then that's the only place for five on the line. 
So five is now definitely in one of those two cells in box one. Again, it doesn't promise to be very helpful, but it does mean there's no five here. There's obviously no five here. There could be a five here. Otherwise, there's a five in one of these cells. I want to say it has to be here, but I can't. Ah, oh, my, 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 this is maddening. That can't still be a four or five pair because of that. So, does that mean anything? Yeah, it does. If, if that was a four, no, it doesn't. That would be a four, and it... Oh, if that was a four, that was a five. The five on the line would have to be there. So if that's a four, that's a five. Anything go wrong with that? It stops that being a four. Now, if this is a four, I haven't thought about this enough. If this is a four, that's a nine, and that's quite a big effect in the puzzle. What's that gonna do? It's going to make this a 5, 6, 7, 8 line. That would see all of 5, 6, 7, 8 and the 3 in the row. At least. <laughs> I don't know. That's not a great deduction, is it? Um, Okay, maybe I need to think about this grouping. Oh, we've lost... I don't think that can be 9 anymore. Because the minimum for those is 3 and 2 now. So that maximum for this is 8. That's interesting. That was when I finally got that 1. That was ages ago. Oh, so disappointed with myself. So this is 6, 7 or 8. So it could go 8, 3, 2. Okay, this is six, seven, or eight. Does that mean anything on this line? I don't think it does. Curses. The line needs to have six, seven, and eight on it, whatever it's doing, and five, actually. It's got five, six, seven, and eight definitely on this line. I don't know what that's meant to be telling me. Whatever it's meant to be telling me, it just isn't. Okay, for that not t for that to be two, that's one and that's three. And that won't work. Okay, that's good. If that's two, that's one, that's three, then this Renban needs a two there. But that one has made that a two. So this is not two, this is four. That's two. Now these two cells have to add up to 11. And I can remove 7 from that one. And 3, no, and 6 from this one. So this is odd. This is now 6 or 8 by Sudoku. Right, can I do this same trick some other way? Not quite. If that's a 1, you could go 2, 3, 6 then. And if that's a three, that's a one, two pair, and that's a three, and that all works fine. Ah! Okay, let's think about these being either a five, six, or a three, eight pair. These two add up to 11. They are either a five, six pair, or a three, eight pair. If they were a three, eight pair, 7 and 9 in this central column would have to be in those three cells somewhere. Okay, let's try it the other way. If that was a 5-6 pair, oh, if that's a 5-6 pair, the 6 here makes that a 1 on the whisper. And that's a 2, and that's a 3, and this is a 1. Is that doing anything? Is it? Can you see it doing something? I don't know.
Okay, if that's a four, where do four, seven, and nine go in the central column? I think the answer would have to be those three cells. Four, seven, nine. So these would be from three, five, six, eight. I don't know what that means. How do we do this? I'm just getting stucker and stucker 42 minutes in. Ah! Just keep persevering. Let's rededicate ourselves to figuring out how this works. I'm still quite interested in this pair because the numbers outside the grid have been very helpful apart from now. So either there's a four there or there's a one in one of these two. Which one is better for me? A four there makes this a five, six, seven, eight, nine line. That is seven or eight. This is eight or nine. I don't know, a one there? Makes that a two, three pair. Oh, that doesn't work. Hang on, no, it does work. That becomes a six. I need to rule this out from being a six somehow. Can I do that? What can I do to make this not a six? That would force this to be three, two. That would become a one. So we'd have six there and one there. The six there would, having made a three there, forces a six here. So th there'd be a six in this pair. And that would have become an eight. Didn't I work out this couldn't be a six, seven, eight? I'm not sure I did. Why, why do I think six can't be there? Have I got any reason at all to think six can't be there? It makes that a three, so that can't be six. So six on the Renban has to be, sorry, there. Then six must be in one of these cells. And that's eight, and that's seven or nine. It feels like things are getting quite difficult then. Well, three would end up having to be in one of these two, actually. If that's six, that's a three. And if six has forced six onto this Renban, three can't be on it. So three in this row would have to be over here somewhere. So if that's six, one of these is three. That's quite interesting. It means this cell is never three. <laughs> World's tiniest conclusion. Ah, oh, gosh, what's going on? Something down column four. Where's two in column four? It's not there because of the one, two pair. Two is in one of those cells. Yes, they're both looking at that cell, aren't they? They are. That one on the Renban, where you couldn't have the repeat digit, and that one in row six. So positions for two in column four make that a one. That is a tricky old step. But it's given us, now we've got a two, three on the Renban. So this can't be four anymore. Is that useful? I bet it's not. Two, three pair. So neither of these or any of these can be two or three. Because that is a pair. Oh, look, that's a one, two, three, eight quad now. So everything else in the row is from four, five, six, or nine, including this cell. This one can't be four or six, that one can't be five, this one can't be nine. That's a bit of pencil marking anyway. Two or three there isn't ruling on that whisper digit. Two or three here. Come on. If it's a three, that's a two and that's a two. 
unsurprising. If it's a three, that's eight or nine. Not interesting. Why have I, oh, six is pencil mark between those two cells. Right, if that's a five, six pair, this is a four now. Is that doing anything? Five, six, nine, triple over here. If this is a five, six pair. I tell you what, if that's a six, that's one, and that's two, and that's now five. Yeah, what else? One, two, five. Then one would have to be in one of these cells. In fact, specifically that one. In fact, one is definitely in one of these two cells by Sudoku already, which I had not noticed. That probably. I was going to. I don't know. I was going to say probably matters. Probably doesn't. Maybe it doesn't. I couldn't actually decide which way I, I was falling on whether it mattered or not looks like it doesn't matter that one is definitely in one of those two cells. It's just interesting to still stumble on stuff like that randomly when it's been available as a deduction for probably a considerable time. Now, has this changed? I don't think so. Not by virtue of this two, three pair. If that's a three, this can't be seven. Now, this middle column might still be interesting somehow. How is this interesting? This is either 5, 6 or 3, 8. 7 and 9 in the column are definitely possibly there. but well, they're definitely confined to these three cells. Um, so, if that's an 8, 3 pair... These are from one, four, five, six, and that's a quad. Mm, that felt almost interesting. That couldn't be six then, because of the quad that was one, four, five, six. And that was if this was an 8-3 pair. But if it's a 6-5 pair, I don't know. If it's a 6-5 pair, that's 4. Is there some reason that can't be 7 and 9? How about that? These would include 6 and 8. Seven would have to be in one of these two, and eight wouldn't be there. So this would be a seven, five, nine triple. This puzzle got really hard in a hurry, didn't it? It was going along swimmingly, sort of, at one point. Okay, let's try and rule out six from here again. Because it makes that a three, it forces six to be there. Then six is on this Renban. Can I prove it's not a four, five, six Renban in some way? What is this Renban? Do I know anything about it? Either, well, what happens if five's there? I do know it's not a one, two, three because of that pair. Do I really not know anything else about it? Two, three, four, with a two there and a three, four pair. I don't see why it's definitely not. Oh, let's think about this being a one again. That makes this two and that three. That makes this six. That's where things get quite interesting. Two, three makes this eight on the line. That puts eight in one of those cells. And one of those. 
And that definitely puts eight there. That's quite interesting. But it doesn't actually finish anything to do with eights. Oh my goodness gracious. One, two. This being able to be a six is really annoying me because I suspect it's not. I suspect this is a one, two, three, four, five line. Why do I think six is feasible here? It stops that being a six. So we get six there. Then that's a six in box seven. Oh, I see. Of course, six here makes that an eight, three pair. And what did that do? That made this a one, four, five, six quad, which is another reason why six is there. I don't know. I don't know. If this is a one, four, five, six, ooh. Okay, we were thinking about four and five and working out that one of them had to be on this Renban in this row. And maybe that was what was interesting about potentially putting six on it. I don't know why it would be interesting. Obviously six can sit with either four or five perfectly happily on a Renban. But one of these is four or five. So it's either well, it's selected from three, four, five, six, seven. That is definite. And it's definitely, therefore, got a five on. Good grief. Why have I not seen that before? The fact that four or five is in one of those cells and it's not a one, two, three means this is selected from three, four, five, six, seven. And therefore, from those two positions for five, five is not here. This is simple in some ways, but also highly complex in other ways. So five was in one of those two cells. We worked that out earlier. So now we know it's there and not here. And on this Renban, it's definitely in one of these two. Um, and that is not a five now down there. Now, five is definitely here. One of these two is a five. That's not a five, obviously. Five in row th four is in one of those two cells. Five, one, two, come on, come on. This can't be a nine or five, one or two. It also can't be six. Oh look, these are from seven, eight, nine. So six and five are both on this bit of the Renban. Eight, does eight have to be there? That would be really helpful if it did. If that was eight, this is seven and nine and that's six and five. So if that's eight and this is three. What was happening up the middle? We've got seven or nine there, seven or nine up here, one of them only. This is eight and that's three. It feels constrained. Yes, that's impossible because this cell, which now can't be a five, right, if that was eight, this would be three, this would be six, and there's suddenly nowhere for six on this line where it must appear. So that is not eight, that's six, that's five, and we've made the 13 some work. The six puts a one in this cell. That fixes some stuff. This now has to be three on the Ren band. Look at this. There's no two in those cells. That's also not a three. So this is now a one eight pair. Um, I'm sure that's useful. Three, four, five, seven are in these cells, not three on the left because of the digit we put in. This can't be five or four on that German whisper. 
six has come off this line because we've placed it. Uh, five is definitely in one of those cells still. Six there. That is now a four. That's just Sudoku based on the five and the six. That makes this six, nine, five. Look at that, digits going in. The excitement is palpable, at least in my brain. Um, five, we've done all those fives in columns one, two, three. Has this done anything else? Yes, two is looking at that cell. Three there, two there. Three can't touch seven on the whisper. Um, two has to be here in column four. We had that pencil marked earlier. This has become a five on the rabbit's eye, and that's a one. That's a six, and that's an eight. And the central box is the first one finished. Hurrah! That's not a five. Six, nine, five, two, one. One of those is eight. Okay, let's look up here. That's a one and a two. Five, two, four, one, six. Oh, I'm going to really celebrate with a huge Easter egg if I get this done. Um, one in box one is up there in the corner. Two's in one of those cells. That's less helpful. Now, this Renban. Haven't thought about this in a while. Do I know that there's a nine on it or a four? Neither yet. Gone. Oh, there's no six on this Ren band, so it's a three, four, five. That's got to be good. That's not a three. This is a seven, eight, nine triple. That's a two, six pair. That must do something. Makes this three, four, or eight. It does nothing, in other words. Five, six, two, one. Three in this row must be there. Yes, sorry, that's just this three looking at that four, which sorts out five and four. That places five on the old difficult Renban, the bunny's left ear. This is also not four. There's no four on this Renban. That's a seven, eight, nine, triple. One of those is a seven. Um, any whispers to finish off? Just that one. Could be either way around. The low digit here is a two. And that's going to fix that as a six, and that, uh, sorry, that two and six are fixed by that. The low digit is a two, the high digit could be any high digit, but that's a six by Sudoku, and that might go some way to dealing with columns eight and nine, which are otherwise very undealt with. Um, come on, come on. This is, these are definitely high. They can't be an eight, nine pair because of that, so they include seven. In fact, they make a seven, eight, nine triple with that. So this is obviously four, as Sudoku has been telling me for a while. That's a six, similar reasons. That's a three. This is eight or nine at the top. The third of eight or nine is up here. The third of seven, eight, nine. And therefore, this is just an ordinary Sudoku three. Um, that's not an eight. This is seven or nine. We must be finished somehow. How on earth is this finishing? Because it doesn't feel like it. Oh yes, we've got three in this column. So that's eight. That's three in the corner. That's three in the spot. Light losing its religion and actually fixing the whole of the rest of the puzzle. If I'm brutally honest. Um, Seven and three, that's an eight. I think this is gonna work. I honestly think this is gonna work now. Um, let's get rid of the coloring because I stopped using it quite some while ago. I don't know if it ever really did much. It did a bit early on when I thought I could do the puzzle. Those say that's not seven. That's now an eight, nine pair on the Ren band. So in goes, oh, suddenly in color mode somehow. Don't know how that happened. Seven. Oh, because I was getting rid of the colours a moment ago. Eight there. That's a seven as well. This is two and nine on the Renban. Very singularly unhelpful pair. If I could navigate, I could put in eight, seven there. Five, nine here. One, two here. That gives me the nine, two. And then a oh no, eight, nine triple up here. And a seven, eight, nine triple here. I'm just going to check all the lines before I put in the last digit. The German whispers all work. The Renbans are all potentially correct, so this must be right. 
and oh the puzzle doesn't include the solution 61 minutes wow that's just fascinating um, the puzzle that you solve will have the solution in it so don't worry about that but my goodness that was marvelous i mean happy easter to you but that's one crazy lop-eared bunny i i think some of the steps were a bit easier than i found them so i'll expect some good times from the the really good solvers amongst you and you always provide them thank you for watching as always I hope to see you again soon on the channel and bye for now